This is Twit. There are loads of different ways to to go about editing photos, um, and we kind of. Rosemary and I were both inspired by some of the third-party tools that we like to use. Um, I've talked about this tool a lot in the past, and it's one that, uh, to this day, I continue to recommend any chance I get uh, because of how powerful it is and how much you are able to do uh, with it, where you might not even realize that, um, you know, there, there's there's a tool out there that does a thing that you want it to do specifically. Um, the tool that I like to use is one called Annotable. That's A-N-N-O-T-A-B-L-E. And Annotable is, th think of like annotate and then able. Um, it is an app that has an app purchase to be able to unlock all of the tools. So bear that in mind. Uh, it's a $10 one app, one time purchase uh, to get all of the, the, the tools that are included. But what's great about it is I think you'll be amazed at um, how mindful the developer has been about what you would want to do when you are creating uh, annotations for a specific, uh, you know, a specific document or image. So let's take a look at what it looks like in uh, iOS. So this is a notable open. And right now, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, but if I tap in the bottom right hand corner, I can see the different tools that are available to me. There's a crop tool up at the top. So I can change, you know, how the image is shown. There's a loop tool, which of course is one of my favorite tools. So if you're trying to call out an, a portion, you can uh, tap your finger onto the screen and kind of hold it down and then move to create a magnification loop. And then in the bottom left-hand corner, that's where you can change settings for the tool. So uh, by tapping on the, the bottom left-hand corner, I can change the color of the stroke around the outside of the loop. I can change the size of the stroke uh, by dragging up or down on the bar on the left. I can change the magnification level to 2x, 3x, or 4x, and I can choose a custom color for the stroke. Now you'll notice there are two uh, blue circles with white circles around with a white stroke around the outside. Those are, of course, your kind of control points. The one on the outside of the circle lets you change the size of the loop. But what I love is the one in the middle lets you change where the loop is looking. So if I take this circle and move it off to the side and tap and hold in the middle and then drag, suddenly I have a kind of point that becomes available to me. Now, there's something unique about uh, and notable that I love. And for those of you who are watching, you will probably see that when I am tapping and holding right above my finger, uh, wherever I'm tapping and holding, a little magnification um, object appears. And what that is doing is it's giving me a look at what is beneath my finger at any given time. And this works across the entirety of the app. So regardless of what tool I'm using, I'm always able, it gets out of the way of basically where my fingertip is, where I would normally not be able to see. And it's that that makes, I think, this app so delightful. So that's the loop tool. Um, let me show you, well, let me delete that um, loop magnification. Um, Next, we have the uh, redaction tool. Well, actually, no, this is more like the shadow tool. So I can kind of highlight a portion of the image. I've got a circle, a square, or I can draw and say, hey, I only want you to pay attention to this part, right? And I can tap to remove that if I don't want it. The next part is the redaction tool. I can draw redaction uh, to color out a part. And what's great is if we highlight that, we can change the type of redaction that it is. It can just be uh, color. It can be um, a sort of poly, uh, like a polygonal uh, option. We can do hexagonal. Is that hex? I think that's hex. Um, we can do square pixels and you can change the size of the pixels to make it even more, or the size of the mosaic essentially, to make it even more uh, difficult to see what's beneath it. And blur as well. So we'll delete that. Um, next are our text tools. There's a redaction tool there's a highlighter tool, there's a text tool, and there's a text highlight tool. Redaction, of course, will put a 
uh, you know, thick line over the top of any text that you have on screen. The highlighter tool is just using your finger to color, to highlight something, but it has um, the multiply property added to it so that it doesn't cover up the text when it's highlighting. Uh, the text tool lets you add text. And what's great about that is that when you add text, hello, you can also use this um, in the same way that we did with the loop tool. So we could uh, point to something on the screen as well. And you could call this, for example, if you had um, a screenshot and you're trying to show somebody what they need to do, we could call it step one instead. And so then they would be able to know, okay, this is what you press for step one. Um, and then the last part, the text highlight tool actually uses um, computer vision, sort of an OCR, text recognition, character recognition, to let you highlight text that is discovered on, like in a screenshot. So instead of just kind of highlighting willy nilly, it lets you highlight text specifically. Um, next are your kind of line tools. So you can draw a line, you can draw an arrow. And then finally, you have your, um, your shape tool. So I can circle something on the screen. And again, uh, with this, I can change the size of the stroke, I can change the color, I can decide if it itself has a stroke around the outside um, or if it's flat and then use that to uh, circle something on the page. This tool works both independently, but also as a share sheet option. So if you have a screenshot, you tap on the share sheet, you say a notable, it'll pop open that photo in a notable and you'll be able to do that there. You can also do it while you're in the photos app as well. I think this app is amazing, um, and it's one. Of, it's actually one of my first downloads. Anytime I get a, uh, you know, if I'm restarting over from scratch with my phone, I make use of this tool heavily. Hey, if you liked that clip, well, there's so much more to get by joining Club Twit. You can watch all of iOS Today, where we cover all things iOS, tvOS, HomePod OS, watchOS, and so much more. It's all the apps, all the tips and tricks, and everything with Rosemary Orchard and me, Micah Sargent. Join Club Twit at twit.tv slash club twit to see all of iOS Today.